Welcome everyone to another tips and tricks session. Today's topic is universal tips and tricks to build better, more meaningful, more understandable dashboards. We're all building dashboards, but depending on how we visualize the data and what we visualize, they have more or less of an impact. Uh, I am not the expert in dashboards, but I brought Alexandra with me. Hi, Alexandra, how are you doing? And maybe quickly introduce yourself. Hello, Andy. Doing great. Thank you. Um, I'm Alexandra Kunert and Solutions Engineer at Dynatrace. And before Dynatrace, I worked for more than seven years uh, exactly with dashboards every day. Cool. So that's why also how we met. Uh, uh, we met at an event and then you said that you've been building dashboards. You showed me some things and I was really excited. And then I said, Alexandra, can you come on the call and just show me and maybe give me some tips and tricks also for everyone to build better dashboards. And uh, I would kind of like to start, we already see two dashboards next to each other, kind of what makes a good dashboard a good dashboard and a not so good dashboard and not so good dashboard. Give me some examples on how we can better visualize data. To, say, to answer this question, essentially what makes a good dashboard good dashboard is really uh, a dashboard that delivers information fast to the end user so that it's in a very short time it is clear um, what is the state and is there anything I should look uh, a little bit more in detail or not. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say generally regardless if it's observability data or anything else um, it, that is what makes a good dashboard good dashboard. Cool. Now, can you give me some specific example here? Because both dashboards have the same title, Host Observability Dashboard. Give me an example yeah. on the left side versus on the right side, how you would do the things differently. Sure. So um, I uh, chose this example, Host Observability Dashboard, because I guess it's um, relatable to everyone. Uh, and I can imagine um, yeah, clients thinking, oh, yes, you're thinking we need some more information maybe in the apps. We need it a little bit differently, maybe for a specific user group and so on. And then you create something, right? And on the left side, um, there, uh, this is a dashboard for the host observability with maybe some more also adapted insights, customized topics. And um, the thing with the dashboard on the left side is there are, is a lot of information uh, also, and a lot of visualized information, which is generally a good thing, um, but the information is not giving me um, the speed I need in order to answer it. So, for example, it says there were some problematic hosts, there are two problematic hosts, but I don't know in which time frame, I don't know how can I dig uh, deeper into that, or um, Generally, it doesn't tell me a good story. I have to have a look a little bit longer to see, okay, is the, are these hosts, are these also hosts? Or um, maybe, um, yeah, what is telling me, uh, what is the chart telling me about network traffic? I don't know. I don't have a baseline. I don't know what is the, the round I'm working on. Uh, I don't have an overview. And this is uh, actually uh, m most often the, the reason why a dashboard uh, is um, not that effective, mm -hmm. that it's taking a little bit more time uh, for me to process the information, mm -hmm. right? And on the right side, you wanted to say? Yeah, yeah, no, mm -hmm. I think, thank you so much. And then, because this is what most people struggle with, they don't have this kind of background, we just put stuff mm -hmm. on a dashboard that we that we know, we know how to interpret it when we build a dashboard, we understand how to use it, but when you're building a dashboard, typically you have more people using it. And so you need to build it in a way that it's meaningful mm -hmm. for everyone and not just for you. And I think this is why these tips and tricks are so great. So yeah, go ahead with uh, the right with the right mm -hmm. side of the dashboard. Sure. So I would say what, what you also mentioned is very important also for other people, not only like I create a dashboard and I know what is what, to make things transparent and to, to offer an overview. Actually, it's a very very simple small things that make a dashboard uh, immensely more effective than uh, than before. And going on the right dashboard, I would just um, zoom it in. Um, there are uh, so in this overview dashboard, in just a short period of time, uh, maybe talking about seconds, I know what this dashboard is about. I know what is the base. For example, I know there are fourteen hosts. Some of them are offline, some of them are running. Uh, I know what is the monitoring mode. I know how many problems there are. I can jump right into the details of the problem right away. I can even see the details of the problem directly. So I can already start 
prioritizing for me, oh yeah, this is something I want to look deeper into. So I get a sense of what is happening uh, in my environment and I uh, can act on it right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the kind of like, obviously in our part of the world, we, 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 we typically read from top left to bottom right. So like the, the first thing mm -hmm. is, Uh, what is kind of like the, the scope of the data? Do we talk about one host? Do we talk about 50 hosts? In this case, 14 in total, uh, 14 that are running, not 14 in total, 13 that are running and one is offline. And I really also like that the red color in problems, something is obviously wrong, but then I also get to the action. I can see what are these problems and with a single click, I then get to the problem details here. Yeah. yeah, and that is essentially... Um summing up uh, what are the guidelines I used, uh, so to say, in order in a short time to create uh, such an overview, providing this uh, um, for the, the number, how, how much there is and what of it is working, what of it is not working. Mm -hmm. And if something is wrong, what is that what is wrong? Mm -hmm. So this is what, what makes, uh, makes our life easier with effective dashboards. Cool. Uh, what else did you put on here that or did you change from the other dashboard that we saw earlier? Oh yeah, so there were some uh, some changes. For example, um, I'm uh, very fond of using donut charts instead of pie charts. In the other dashboard, there were some uh, some more pie charts because it allows me to put on a total number and also to to um, uh, to deliver information by category in one tile. So it is something which I recommend for using like uh, to get like the overview. Mm -hmm. um, also. What uh, what I really would mention is when you um, so in Dynatrace you have the option in a tile to set up in the code to set up the timeline differently than in the dashboard like I have here set seven days but here in this tile it is something different yeah. uh, meaning if you set up something different in your dashboard it is um, very very good uh, to write that down mm -hmm. with a visible place where you don't need a hover. To answer uh, to access this information so in this case it's today's reboots mm -hmm. it's not the last seven days reboots the time frame is different and this is also stated um, transparently cool yeah so that means i really know what if you're changing the time context uh, from the global kind of time frame filter of mm -hmm. your dashboard then explain it in the tile itself yeah, that makes a lot of sense Exactly. Also, when providing maybe some more additional information like the, the reboots, maybe for someone it's not clear why is that mm -hmm. important at all. What is the graceful and ungraceful reboot? So providing this information uh, maybe also for uh, other users that are not every day in your environment uh, and that closely tied uh, to it like you and having a look at the dashboard at one glance just delivers all the information in detail. They need to understand it if, if that is needed. Mm -hmm. So I would also say, uh, don't uh, don't save on markups. Don't save on uh, meaningful titles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's also why you have the the text next to it. So right next to the chart, what is a graceful reboot? Is controlled restart where the operating system is allowed to shut down all processes properly. Mm -hmm. So that tells me also because I have never never heard about graceful reboot. Now I know what it is. So it's good. Uh, what else is right. in here? Mm -hmm. I would say uh, interesting to mention is um, yeah, using the honeycomb. I really like uh, because it gives like um, visually a very fast input in the brain. Like, oh, what is happening? How many uh, items are there in this case? Hosts, which of them are not doing well? And um, this is uh, something that that is like great for the honeycomb. And also, um, I would give the tip to sort it to sort the information that you have so that whatever it is not doing well, it is right on the top. Mm -hmm. So like in this case, with the average disk usage by host, um, you can see, oh, there is something um, that is not doing that well, but also on the right side, you can see the details of the host and you can dive in, open the app, like the, the host overview app uh, of Dynatrace and see this host, uh, this host in detail. Mm -hmm. So that means the, the tip here is if you are, visualizing the same data maybe in different ways like the honeycomb and the list make sure it's sorted the same thing because like in this case yeah. uh, top left in the honeycomb is the same as the top entry in the table i think that's great and then the other thing mm -hmm. what i noticed uh, remembering the other dashboard that you had up earlier 
the other dashboard had a huge honeycomb with a lot of green but a little bit of yellow throughout yeah. showing all of the discs but you decided a different mm -hmm. approach here can you fill us in why is this different than the other one yeah because uh having just a huge amount of discs and seeing oh something is orange something is red um doesn't give me a sense of um uh like overview or like to say uh, a stable uh, sense of how many hosts we are talking about that have an issue because it can be like oh, there are also shared disks and then things like that it can be that multiple hosts are affected by less uh, disks but it can also be the other case that maybe um, uh, so many hosts are uh, affected but it is uh, so many disks are affected but it's only one host mm -hmm. so this is giving me an information that is easy to process and if then I want to see the disks to analyze it further, I can I can do that in a few, uh, uh, next step. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That's also what I really like. Right? In this, because in the previous one, I would say that there were like 20 or 30 different disks that were orange. But now this tells mm -hmm. me there's actually only one, ho one host impacted. Still something to look yeah. into, but it doesn't mean it's spread across multiple hosts. Really good. Yeah. It, yeah. It's also helping with prioritizing, right? Mm -hmm. So if they are... Uh, some issues um, on many hosts. Uh, host is that? How important is it? It can really uh, help you, you know, just to feel to feel like uh, you're in control because that the sense of um, like everyone for every one of us in order to do our, our jobs, we have to be a little little con control freaks. I would say we want to know what is happening and if something is not going well, we want to know what it is. And uh, also we want the information that we get presented, if it's uh, from the apps and the if it's in a dashboard, uh, we want to trust the information and we want this information to give us this sense of, oh, I know what is happening yeah. in my environment. Cool. Anything else on this dashboard that you want to show us? Um, I would say um, to sum it up maybe, uh, the most important things to easily restructure your existing dashboards, maybe because you have maybe already started uh, creating your own dashboards, and you can do few few fixes um, to make it uh, more effective. It's like think about what is the dashboard for? What is uh, what what is going to give me an overview? What is the the ground, the base, um, where I'm starting from? What am I comparing? Um, mm -hmm. So create an overview, which is giving you a sense, oh, I know what I have and I know how it's doing. Is it doing good? Is it doing bad? And if there is something go or not doing well, I want to be able to deep dive into this. Is it maybe a link to another app? Is it just by clicking and opening another app automatically from the built-in features? Is it uh, maybe some table? Tables are also a great uh, source of providing detailed information. So. This is usually the flow. Like also keep a, uh, keep in mind, um, we in English are reading from from top uh, left to right. Um, in some other countries, it may be the other way around. This is also something to think about. Maybe if we were in another country, I would put the details problems uh, tile on the left side, side mm -hmm. and the host would do it on the right side. So I would say to sum it up, these are some. Um, some things uh, that will help you create the dashboard more effective. Also about the colors, the sorting, and, and uh, keep in mind the, to use the same colors when something is not doing well. And also when comparing through different uh, dimensions or different categories, um, tend not to use the same colors because then your brain will have to do a lot of work in order to say, oh, is this belonging together or is this not belonging together? Yeah. Cool. Hey, Alexandra, thank you so much for this. Folks, the dashboard that have been shared here above on the Dynatrace Playground, you will get the link in the description of this video. And Alexandra will have you back for a more deep dive. But this, I think, was a great overview of universal tips and tricks. Obviously, this was shown on Dynatrace. But I think a lot of these tips are obviously applicable to any type of dashboard solution. We assume, though, that most of you are probably using Dynatrace. So hopefully, this will help you building more impactful, better dashboards. Thank you so much. See you next time.